for our next news special report. No weapon formed against him shall prosper. In a stunning turn of events, Donald Trump's approval rating has skyrocketed in the wake of his guilty verdict. The Daily Mail snap poll reveals a six-point bump in favorability, with independents showing a net positive impact. As the nation grapples with the unprecedented situation of a presumptive nominee facing felony convictions and potential prison time, Trump's resilience earns him the moniker the Teflon Don. But what does this mean for the 2024 election? We're going to find out in this special report. And just as the, the guilty verdict in the Manhattan trial has only strengthened Trump's resolve, we at Next News Network face our own trials. Much like Trump's campaign raising a record-breaking $34.8 million in the face of adversity, we rely on your support to keep our mission alive. YouTube has demonetized us and alternative platforms like Rumble have turned their backs, but we refuse to give up. We're fighting to preserve the truth just as Trump fights for the soul of America. So your generosity is crucial in this moment. Visit the links below to donate and help us keep the flame of truth burning bright. Now, in an exclusive snap poll conducted by the Daily Mail, former President Donald Trump's approval rating has seen a remarkable six-point bump following his guilty verdict on 34 counts in the Manhattan hush money trial. The poll, which surveyed 403 likely voters, revealed that 22% now view Trump more favorably compared to 16% who view him more negatively. Independence, a crucial voting bloc, showed the net positive impact of four points. A 42-year-old hip-hop DJ from Illinois who voted for Joe Biden in 2020 stated of the poll, he says, I think it's a waste of taxpayer money and will help propel Trump to victory. The Trump campaign also reported a record-breaking $34.8 million. In fact, uh, I'll give you an update on those numbers. I uh, just got a message here that it is now at $53 million. So a remarkable fundraising haul, total backfire. And these are all small-dollar donations all in the hours following the verdict, nearly doubling their previous daily record and crashing the donation platform when read. In a press conference following the verdict, Donald Trump hailed the Daily Mail poll results. Watch this. I just see a poll just came out, the Daily Mail. That was the first one came out. It was done last night right after the verdict, where I'm up six points. Six points from what we already were. We were leading fairly substantially. We're up six points in the Daily Mail poll. Now, maybe other polls come out and says something differently. But a lot of people have predicted it because the public understands and they understand what's, what's going on. This is a scam. There's a rigged trial. The Daily Mail. Does anybody read the Daily Mail? It's very good. They have a good poll. At least I like it today. And the Daily Mail just came out with a poll. And it has Trump up six points in the last 12 hours. Six points. Six points since this happened. Who thought this could happen? Up six points. Major backfire. Now, Trump's supporters and detractors had strong reactions to the verdict. A retired electrician in North Carolina who voted for Trump in 2020 expressed embarrassment, comparing it to finding out your sister's a prostitute. In contrast, a Biden supporter in Arizona called the trial a railroad job and totally ludicrous. As Trump returned to Trump Tower on Thursday evening, he raised his fists in the air, greeted by cheers from his supporters outside the courthouse. Emotions ran high, with some Trump supporters weeping after the guilty verdict was announced. The scene was one of both jeers and cheers as Trump raised his fists to his fans. Watch this. <laughs> James Johnson, who conducted the poll, noted that while most Americans' views on Trump remain unchanged, those open to changing their minds feel more positive by a margin of six points, which is significant. The Trump campaign had been preparing for a guilty verdict denouncing the prosecution as politically motivated and a kangaroo court. 
They believe voters are more concerned about the economy and their finances than accusations related to falsifying invoices and ledger entries. Trump himself listened to the jury foreman deliver the guilty verdict, appearing defeated as he left court. Meanwhile, Trump opponents celebrated the result outside the courthouse. Now, despite the shocking verdict, Trump remains defiant, stating, This was a rigged, disgraceful trial. The real verdict is going to be November 5th by the people. So as the nation enters uncharted territory with the presumptive party nominee facing felony convictions and potential prison time, the impact on the 2024 election remains to be seen. So if you got value from this report, tap subscribe. My final thought is next. The Daily Mail's poll results underscore Donald Trump's uncanny ability to weather any storm, earning him the moniker the Teflon Don. Despite the guilty verdict, Trump's approval rating has surged, showcasing his unwavering support from his base and growing appeal among independents. As the nation navigates uncharted waters with a frontrunner facing felony convictions, Trump's resilience and ability to galvanize his supporters may prove to be his trump card in the 2024 election. The Teflon Don rides again, defying all odds and expectations. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. Now keep up your quest for truth with this next news report. And if you found our channel enlightening, join the millions who agree with you. Tap subscribe. Thank you for watching the Next News Network.